Hi, my name is Leo Chen. I'm the Applications Engineer for Linear Technologies Digital Power Managers. Today we will focus on one of these parts, the LTC2978. The LTC2978 is a very complete 8-channel solution which monitors, supervises, margins, and sequences power supply rails. It can autonomously trim power supply outputs to 0.25% accuracy, and it acts like a black box recorder in the case of a power supply fault. The LTC2978 is controlled through an I2C SM bus interface that implements standard PM bus commands as well as valued LTC specific commands. In this demonstration, I will use the Linear Technology DC1613 controller. The DC1613 acts as a USB to I2C slash SM bus interface and allows any PC running our software to communicate with the LTC2978. You can also use the DC1613 to communicate with LTC2978s in your system, making the DC1613A a valuable debug tool. To make this part easy to use and configure, Linear has created a software which provides visibility to all the LTC2978 features, making programming and verifying a snap. This software is called LT PowerPlay and is free to all LTC2978 customers. We also designed a demo system, the DC1540, that allows you to quickly begin using the part in a real 8-rail application. If your final system has more than 8 rails, you can cascade multiple demo systems together to create a system that has n times 8 rails. All of the connectors are in place to do this very quickly and easily. Once you have your demo system, all you need to do is plug it into your PC via the DC1613 and LT PowerPlay will automatically identify all the chips in the application. Now you're ready to configure the power supply management parameters for your multi-rail system. For this demo, we have cascaded four DC1540s together for a total of 32 rails. As you can see, the LT PowerPlay software handles large power systems like this with ease. LT PowerPlay is simple to use but is powerful enough to create complex management schemes. On the left hand side we have the chip dashboard. Here you can quickly see the status of all the rails you have currently in your system. As you can see in the system tree, the GUI handles all four of the 2978s we have connected for this demo. Right now all the chips are green, indicating no power supply faults and a system that has been brought up correctly. You have rails. On the right, we have all the monitoring data being streamed in. Right now, we're monitoring the outputs of the rails in the demo system. You can read the values or look at the real-time graph to quickly assess the status of your system. The plot will automatically track any monitoring parameter you have selected in the GUI. In the center, we have the meat and potatoes of our software. Here, you have access to all the configuration registers in the LTC2978. There are a couple different categories to choose from from the tabs up top, and there's even a search function to quickly access that register of your choice. Now, let's say that you want to margin all 32 rails high at the same time. Simply click the Group Operation button and select Margin High. I just margined all 32 rails with the click of a button. And it's just as easy to apply any other operation to all the rails. I'm going to reset all the rails to their nominal voltages with the Group Operation. You can see the results inside the telemetry panels. While the GUI does provide a lot of information, it is quite easy to find exactly what you need using our tab organization structure and search function. We also include some features that are meant to streamline the design process of a multi-rail system that are not readily apparent in the main GUI window. These features save valuable time when configuring or debugging your system. One such tool is the fault sharing diagram. The fault sharing diagram allows a user to easily configure how individual user-defined faults are shared within a multi-rail system. The LTC2978 defines two fault zones using four fault pins. The default configuration of the demo system links all user-defined faults together, so they propagate to all the channels. Let me demonstrate. If we short one channel to ground, creating an undervoltage fault, all the channels will turn off. Watching the LEDs, you can see how each channel is turned off as the undervoltage fault is propagated. In this configuration, the LTC2978 is programmed to automatically turn the supplies back on after being brought down by UV fault caused by these pliers. Watch as the part attempts to turn on the rails in sequence and shuts them off when the fault is detected. Looking at the chip dashboard, we can easily see which channel has caused the fault and aborted the turn on sequence. The pliers induced a UV condition on channel 3. In the GUI, channel 3 is the only one in red, indicating a detected fault. 
We can also view the fault log to see exactly what went wrong. Our fault log is color-coded to easily indicate which channels have faulted, which ones have warned, and which ones are currently running in a green condition. But let's have a little more fun. We can easily reprogram the LTC2978 to have a different fault response on each channel. Here, I've changed the configuration so that a fault on channel 3 only propagates to channel 0. I've also modified channel 3's fault response to not retry a power on sequence when an under voltage fault is detected. Channel 3 will fault off and stay off and it will bring channel 0 along with it. I've not modified the fault propagation or response of the other channels. I can close this window and write the new configuration to hardware. I can also click this button to store the configuration into non-volatile memory so that this configuration is recalled during subsequent power ons. Let's bring down channel 1 with the plier induced UV fault. Like before, the channel 1 UV fault propagates to the other channels and turns them off and initiates an automatic retry power up sequence. Now, I turn the dreaded pliers onto channel 3. A UV fault brings about a different but expected behavior. The new fault propagation and response parameters turns off channel 0 and 3 only, but the other channels stay on exactly as programmed. In the GUI, channel 0 and 3 are red, indicating a fault. This reconfiguration of channel 3 fault propagation and responses took less than 30 seconds to describe, implement, and verify. So this quick overview was meant to demonstrate the utility of the LT PowerPlay GUI as well as introduce the rich feature set of the LTC2978. The GUI does a great job of organizing the data collected by the LTC2978 in a meaningful way. The DC1540 demo system is a great way to get started using our 8-channel digital power manager today. For more information, visit us at linear.com. Thank you.